You know, there have been a lot of great debates in human history. Lincoln versus Douglas, Newton versus Leibniz, Buckley and Vidal. But who would have known that the greatest of all intellectual clashes would take place on the little island of Ireland when a group of pro-abortion individuals decided to engage with some pro-life canvassers. The debate began with the pro-abortion side's bold assertion that an unborn baby is essentially a bug. This little thing that's, this little embryo, this little, this little bug almost, it's not that even- now, to be fair, I'm not sure what a pregnant woman would think of that, or God forbid, a woman who had had a miscarriage describing her offspring as a bug might not go down too well. But regardless, the pro-lifer proceeds to point out that the abortion advocate was once a quote-unquote bug embryo himself, and that whether or not you're wanted or unwanted by your parents, that doesn't change your life's intrinsic value. That was you. You realize that? Sorry? That was you. You were that little- yeah, wanted. Him. Oh, and so no, oh no, that's no, different. Okay, so want and not My mother wasn't raped determines and life. Accidentally impregnated. But unfortunately for the pro-lifers, they didn't know that the pro-aborts had a secret weapon up their sleeves. A time-tested, unbeatable debate strategy which never fails. Behold the final boss of pro-abortion arguments. Baby Separate is born into a beam. life. Oh, sorry, got the snacks as well. Human oh, beam. Excellent. I did. Look, see. Right. This baby oh, is born God. into a life, right? Wow, why are you eating the leaflet? Oh, it's just so tasty. It's a nice snack. I mean, honestly, how do you even argue with such airtight logic? Clearly, these lads have done their homework on how to win conflicts. When your opponent makes an argument that you cannot refute, devour the paper that his arguments are written on and give yourself ink poisoning. In his stunned confusion, he will be left speechless, allowing you to win by default. Sun Tzu's Art of War. Very crafty stuff. These pro-choicers have got their advanced tactics down pat. Note as well, by the way, this girl is wearing her mask outdoors because she's worried about her health, but she takes it off so she can eat paper and ink which was handled by a total stranger. For all she knows, that thing could have been dipped in a urinal 10 minutes ago, your man could have not washed his hands after evacuating his bowels, and now here she is chowing down on a leaflet that he was holding. This baby is born into a life. Guys, he's videoing you. <laughs> I don't no. care. Oh, wow. I hope you know, guys, he's videoing you right now. Oh, where did she yeah, this, this is, is, this is going back to the Grand Wizard. Wizard. Yeah. We got snacks. Oh, oh no. Lovely. Delicious. I should have some. Absolutely. Yeah, here you go. My drink. Nice. Yeah. Yeah. Nice. Do you want a snack? Do you want a snack? This tastes really bad. <laughs> Well, they're not sending their best, I'll tell you that much. These are the fruits of the Irish education system, believe it or not. Then we have the classic block the camera with your coffee cup and skateboard strategy. Hold it though. You would have been better off sandwich. Oh really? It was better off if I died. Of all the problems in the world, this is the one to like stand behind. Abortion. One, one thing. What are you doing? I'm just f***ing your day up because I'm not else to do. Really interesting. Yep. You can back off, back off. Back off. Thank you. Oh, I was spilling coffee now. Don't want to be spilling coffee. And when all else fails, of course, just resort to violence. Get out of here. No, we're... Whoa! No one gives a shit about it. Off. We came out in our droves to vote for this. Look at this. Look, look at the tolerance. Our rights are like ruin my day. Hey, leave us alone. Show some respect. Leave us alone. Show some respect. We, we vote for this. Show our respect for our vote. Off. We don't want this. We'll leave when we want to. Doesn't it warm your heart to see the spirit of intellectual rigor and debate still alive and well in our country? Thank God we live in such a tolerant society, right? Please like and share this video, and if you enjoyed it, please consider signing up for a monthly donation via the link on screen to help us produce more content like this. Alternative media like Gripped needs all the assistance it can get, and every donation goes a long way. As always, thanks for watching.